with diameter ratio of 3 upon 5 u so internal diameter to ex the ratio of internal diameter to external diameter is 3 upon 5 u is equal to 3 d cap uh, small d upon capital d so d is equal to 3 upon 5 u uh, capital d is equal to 0 0.6 of uh, capital D so small d is equal to so internal diameter is equal to 0 0.6 times of capital diameter uh, transmit for 450 kilowatt at so p is equal to 450 kilowatt at 120 rpm so n is equal to 120 rpm with uniform twisting moment and sharing stress at the sh in the shaft is not exceed 60 newton per mm square so tau is equal to 60 newton per mm square and twisting length is 2.5 meter so l is equal to 2.5 meter if converted into 2.5 into 10 raised to 3 mm and theta is equal to 1 degree so theta is equal to 1 degree converted into radian and calculate external diameter of the shaft satisfying this condition and take modulus of rigidity so modulus of rigidity g is equal to 8 into 10 raised to 4 newton per mm square to find diameter p is equal to 2 pi nt upon 60 so p is equal to 450 into 10 raised to 3 is equal to 2 multiply by pi multiply by rpm is 120 rpm t upon 60 so t is equal to 450 into 10 raised to 3 multiply by 60 upon 2 multiply by pi multiply by 120 and we get value of t or our torque is 50 35.8 into 10 raised to 3 newton per meter or 35.8 into 10 raised to 6 newton per mm next polar moment of inertia j is equal to pi by 32 d raised to 4 minus d raised to 4 so j is equal to pi by 32 d raised to 4 we have equation for internal diameter so 3.0.6 solving pi by 32 we get 0 0.098 this d have the value this d have value 1 so 1 minus 0 0.6 raised to 4 so 0 0.098 0 0.8704 d raised to 4 and multiplying this we get 0 0.085 u d raised to 4 diameter based on shear stress so we have formula t by j is equal to tau by r the put value in this formula and we get t 35.8 into 10 raised to 6 divided by j is 0 0.08 5 d raised to 4 is equal to 60 divided by d divided by 2 to solve the for, to solve for the diameter the equation is simplified and rearrange first simplify the right right hand side equation to get answer so 60 divided by d divided by 2 to 2 multiplied by 60 is equal to 120 and d remain now substitute this into the equation and we get 35.8 into 10 raised to 6 divided by 0 0.08555 d raised to 4 is equal to 120 divided by d Rearrange the terms to isolate d and assuming d is not equal to 0 and we can multiply both sides of d raised to 4 and divide by 120 and we get 35.8 into 10 raised to 6 divided by 0 0.08555 multiply by 120 is equal to d raised to 4 divided by d. So substituting d raised to 4 divided by d and we get d raised to 3 is equal to d raised to 4 is equal to 35.8 into 10 raised to 6 divided by solving this we get 10.26 and d raised to 3 is equal to 3 raised to 3 is equal to 34 d raised to 3 is equal to 3489278.75 so calculate the final value of d taking the cube root of the result so d is equal to cube root 348927 8.75 so d is equal to 151.67 mm
put value in this formula so it looks like t t is 35.8 into 10 raised to 6 divided by polar moment of inertia j is 0 0.0855 d raised to 4 is equal to g is 8 into 10 raised to 4 multiplied by theta is 0 0.0175 upon l length is 2 uh, solve for d to find the value of d we first rearrange the equation to isolate isolate the term d4 so d raised to 4 is equal to d raised to 4 is equal to 3 4 5 u 3 5 u 35.8 into 10 raised to 6 35.8 into 10 raised to 6 multiply by 2 5 double 0 or multiply by 35.8 into 10 raised to 6 multiply by 2.5 into 10 raised to 3 divided by divided by 0 0.0855 so 0 0.0855 multiply by 8 into 10 raised to 4 multiply 0 0.0175 now we perform the calculation to find the numerical value of d raised to 4 and the calculation is d raised to 4 is equal to 747702590 and taking the fourth root of the value given the diameter d so d is equal to fourth root seven four seven seven zero two five nine zero so d is equal to one sixty five point three six mm the calculated value of diameter d is approximately one sixty five point three seven